Welcome to my Abyss Navigation Guide. I'm Funny Bunny and I'm going to be talking to you about situational awareness and how to take advantage of your enemies on the map Abyss. Before we get into the tips and gameplay, let's review my hangar so we can see what we're working with. I will go through everything quickly and it will be up to you guys to pause the video if you want to analyze my build. So let's start with my Titan, these are my weapons and modules. I have igniters, here are my modules, on the tier I have cryo weapons, on the leech I have sinister pulsar, on the aljun I have avengers, and on my ravana I have terrans. Now the great thing about war robots is hangar diversity and the hundreds of possible builds that can be made. This, however, does lead to uncertainty in every game, so it's up to us to gather intel on the enemy to make decisions accordingly. Let's look at a data report for the month of May from Reddit user Shady. Thank you Shady for the report. These graphs are based off the current Legend League players. As we can see, Demeter, Hawk, Shell, Rabana, and Scorpions are the most common robots, and for this reason, they're considered meta. As for the weapons, Sonic, Freeze, and Flame weapons are considered the strongest weapons in the Heavy, Medium, and Light weapon classes. Now we all know how to play our hangers, so rather than giving you advice on what robots and weapons to use, I will try to convey situational tips that may apply to you if you're ever in a similar situation. Tip number one, play a role based on your builds, whether it's a sniper chipping away at the enemies, a support bot healing your allies, or a saboteur distracting the enemy team. Stick to a role and support your teammates. Tip number two, gather intel on your enemies before you attack. See that Al Jun? It's mid-flight and it's about to land. That will be a good time to make a move and try to take him down. As I fly to him and land, my teammates push with me and heal me as we prepare to take the beacon. Tip number 3. Use the teleports to quickly travel across the map to attack your enemies or capture a beacon. As you can see, in this situation my team is being forecapped. However, the situation turns around in a matter of seconds. And now my team has the advantage because we're all playing the objective. Tip number four, take cover. Use the buildings near you as shields and hold angles that let you fight one enemy at a time. In this situation, the Ao Ming doesn't know I'm there, but the Hawk does, so I stay behind cover so the Hawk can't attack me as I start to damage the Titan. Once my ability is done recharging, I make my escape and fly away. Tip number 5. Position your Titan strategically. Try to place it in spots where you can fire and not take damage. A well-positioned Titan can stall several enemies. Here's a prime example as to why Titan placement is important. Look at how much damage I'm able to deal to this Sharanga with my nearly destroyed arm. It just can't kill me. I'm in the perfect position to deal damage and not take any. With all the damage we dealt, my teammate is able to easily finish him off. The markings on this map are some spots I know of where Titans can sit and fire at enemies while minimizing damage taken. Use these to your advantage during face-offs on Abyss. Now get to it, Commanders. This is what I want to see from you on the battlefield. I hope everyone learned something new from this guide. You must be a skilled commander if you already knew all this. Oh, and just a word of advice. Don't swim in the lava.